American Beauty is your soldering, brazing, and thermal wire stripping solution provider. We have three component parts here being assembled together uh, and being soldered. They currently are flame soldering this using torches. They want to try a different approach. We're going to use resistance soldering for this application. And so we'll give you a demonstration of the resistance soldering process. First we want to clean these component parts, make sure that we don't have oxidation on these that would inhibit the solder flow in the proper wetting. Okay? We don't want any skin oil or dirt or anything else in the way. So we'll get these cleaned up. They have provided a fixturing unit, which you'll see here. We locate the first bracket in the fixture, as you see, and then the second one. And these have uh, little alignment channels, everything to keep everything together. Okay, this is the, the third piece that's gonna be joined on here, and we'll clean that with a wire brush because it does have some little nipples on there that we wanna make sure that uh, we get the oxides off from around there. Wipe that off. Now what we're going to do is they did provide a flux pen. This is a 951 Kester flux material. And we're going to flux the area where the solder is intended to flow. We'll put a little extra in the holes. Hopefully that'll uh, help draw some solder in there. The sample photos they provided did show solder down in there. Uh, the idea also is to have it wet properly on the inside channel, we won't be able to see that until after this uh, is project is finished and pulls off. But we'll want to make sure and flux the areas where that uh, solder is intended to flow. Okay. Now this also has some very small springs that go into this assembly. And I'll crop the video where I put these in because it is a little bit tedious. Okay, we've got the springs underneath here with the three pieces lined up together. This tab will hold everything nice and snug. We're using a 105 H9 system. We are on the A and C connections. We are set at 4.1 volts. We've got a run light that will show when we're active. And of course, current doesn't flow until you have a path for current which is when the uh, electrode is in contact. Okay. And we're ready. You can kind of see that flux activate a little bit down below there. Now what's gonna happen, I can start to flow the solder on that top plate, but I want the heat to transfer all the way down to that bottom plate so I get good wetting down there as well. And Virgil, you must have a return somewhere fixture to this? I do. This clamp, as you see it over here, is a return for current flow. That's off to the left of the screen. You cannot see it right now. Okay. Now what's going to happen is, is as this gets hot enough for this solder to flow, the liquid solder is actually going to help transfer the heat down to the lower plate. Okay, now I'm going to switch hands here to be able to feed this without being in your way, hopefully. And this side is going to heat up a lot quicker because it's already got a lot of heat transferred from the other side. What I'm doing is I'm watching the bottom plate there to see how well that solder is flowing and wetting. And that's going to help me determine how much solder actually feeds up underneath to fill those voids that are under there. And you can see that solder just suck right up underneath there with capillary draw. And that completes the cycling and the application.